so we have something that is very cool here. Um, I have my daughter here who loves crystals specifically, but igneous crystals, which is uh, crystals that are typically formed in volcanoes and things like that. That's where this comes in. So this is a volcano that inside has these different crystals kind of buried in the volcano. So let's pull everything out of the box here. Let's take a look and see what's inside. So we have the volcano in which are all of the crystals. We have the booklet that talks about volcanoes, what they are, and then it has types of, of the different types of um, crystals that are actually in there which is actually really kind of cool. I like that. Um, I see something here that you really like, so that'll be, that'll be fun. All right, so there's that. And then in the bottom of the box, so if you were to look inside the box, you would see that there's a black bottom and that's all that there is in there. Underneath this black bottom are the tools that you will actually use to dig everything out and to inspect the crystal specimens that are in there. So let me go ahead and open this box. So you have a brush, you have a hammer, you have a lovely chisel, and then you have a cool little magnifying glass so that when you get the crystals out, you can look them up nice and close. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up for her so that she can get in there. Now this is, looks like this is maybe a plaster of Paris or a compressed sand. Um, so it is gonna take a little bit of effort to get those crystals out, um, but, Go ahead and open this up here. Got plaster crap off and you can... All right, there we go. So there you go. All right, so things like this, these are fun for um, people who love science. Um, my daughter has been interested in earth science, especially for a very long time. She just went into the ninth grade um, is doing earth science this year. And these are things that are, are interesting to her. You should use the you should use a little hammer. So she is just. There might be a piece there. You should use a hammer. <laughs> now we also have a bucket of water here, a bowl of water. Um, if it got to the point where she was really just too frustrated to, to use it, we could put it in the water and it would. Um, loosen things up a little bit for her so that it would be a little bit easier to get those crystals out. Um, you can also use it to rinse off the crystals when you get them out of the volcano. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put that in there and see if we can get that to, to loosen up a little bit. So you'd only need, excuse me, you'd only need to keep that in there for a little while. I mean, you can see all the, the air bubbles coming out. Um, yeah, it's actually kind of cool. Um, but it's it's gonna loosen that up for her. Um, I've got a napkin here that we can dry it off with because it's got some of the paint on there. But she was able to use the, the chisel and the, the hammer and the little brush to kind of clean things up a little bit, but we've got a piece of paper just here on the table here to keep it from really getting all over the place, but I think we're gonna see just how effective that really is here in just a second. But, so that's absorbing quite a bit of water. Um, you can see that that's already hissing. and it is hissing now that we have it out of the water. But it's it's, it looks like it's getting that water out. Yeah, it does look like it's erupting a little bit, doesn't it? Alright, so these kinds of these kinds of experiments and, and projects. You know, these definitely go along the lines with the, the STEM education um, subjects and things like that. So this is one of those things for the science that she loves. <laughs> and she's gonna go ahead and see if we can't dig out those crystals and we'll get them in here and see if we can't get them in and uh, show you what's in here. She's been digging out here and we found a rock. Let's grab the... We'll grab our little booklet here and see if we can figure out which one that is. Where's the booklet? It's green. Ooh. Well, now you can really see what it looks like. All right. Isn't that your pyrite? All right, so let's go ahead and get this cleaned off a little bit, see if we can get some of that plaster off and see what's going on here. Oh, 
Kind of going crazy on this thing here. Oh, yeah, that is your pyrite. All right, so we can look at the the book, and so this is just the little chunk of pyrite that was in there, um, and we can look at it and we can see some of the. So it says on here, pyrite is an iron sulfide material, a mineral with a metallic luster and has a brassy coloring that's similar to gold. Because of its resemblance, it's also known by the name fool's gold. It comes in the form of a cubic crystal system and has an opaque transparency and a brittle texture. Pyrite's meaning is purity and unblocks creativity. So this booklet with each of those different crystals that are in here and the different minerals gives some of that background and how it's formed and, and things like that. Yeah, there is obsidian in here as well. So we can put it back in the water to loosen it up a little bit more if you want and we can see if we can get some more of those out. No, that's tiger's eye. This is tiger's eye. So that's one of the things that she likes doing with these. Um, she loves wrapping crystals with the wire wrappings. Um, she's very, very good at that. And she loves, she just made the comment that this piece of tiger eye would actually be perfect for that. Um, it's a very, nice. very pretty specimen. And it's got some nice black corners, she says. Um, but you know, this is the kind of thing that for somebody that likes crystals or likes volcanoes or things like that, science, um, this is a great way to, to really explore that, that love. Ooh, we've got a green one. Toss it in there. Looks like a picture. I'm pretty sure it's great. Ooh, toss it in. Oh, that's a pretty. That's a pretty green one. No, this is obsidian. Ooh. Ooh. Careful, you're right. <laughs> yeah. She'll be vacuuming when we're done. So <laughs> oh yeah, look, thanks. So this is obsidian and it's very cool. We've got some lights here behind the camera and we can see the veining in that. It's very, very cool. There's a jasper in there, right? Yep, there's a red jasper in there. So these rocks, these crystals are kind of all throughout the the volcano here. They don't stick uh, at the top, which is nice. Yeah, they're not just stuck up in the top. So she's it's she's actually got to work for it, which is kind of funny, um, kind of fun. But she's she's having a great time, kind of digging these out. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, look at that. Very pretty um, crystals here. Oh, there you go. She's got where she can just start breaking it apart. Just hold it with her hands. Two parts. It might be. Uh... Oh, there's a Alright, so you're at nine. No, eight. So you have four more. So there is a brittle one called the Desert Rose that is supposed to be in here. Um, and when she gets to that, we'll show you what that looks like. But it's a very pretty crystalline structure um, that is gorgeous when you, when you find it. So we'll take a look here. Let's get these. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
Okay. Right. I just oh, that's need a the snowflake the... agate. Yeah, I just need the desert amethyst rose. and desert rose. So there's the purple crystal and the desert rose, or amethyst and the desert rose. So we're thinking that those are going to be in this next little chunk here. So we're just soaking it again to see if we can't loosen some of this up. Uh, you might want to check those to make sure that none of them have a purple in it. That's breaking apart. I won't break it up and leave that. Let's get a bit of the old crack in it. So, yeah. You can probably crack that right open. That's okay, that's actually. So I did that with half the, there's the blue stone. Purple, pink. Did we miss the desert rose? No. There's several extras it looks like in here. No, I think there's like 16. Is it 16? I don't know. There's more, more than, than 12. 12. Apparently I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's see. Because this is clear quartz. So there are... Two, five, nine, fifteen. Not twelve. Fifteen. Where's the desert rose? Got it. Or you, did you say where is it? Oh, I got it. It's a little low. Unless it broke. There's another one in there, it's a little pink one. It's a clear pink one. Okay, so let's take a look. Is that one? Maybe. I don't, I don't, I'm not seeing it. So we must have gotten it already. Five. Sixteen. So if you did, it's probably this one that it probably broke. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. There's probably a little piece in here somewhere. Alright, so there's the crystals. We've got all of them out. Um, but you can see that there's some really pretty ones in here. She's excited about wrapping some of these. Her hands are filthy. <laughs> but was it fun? Yeah. And she can use the, we'll get everything cleaned up and dried off and get her cleaned up. But she can use the magnifying glass to really look at these a little bit closer and really look at the crystalline structures and the colors and things like that. But yeah, Volcano with the 15 uh, different crystals in it. Highly recommend it. She had a lot of fun and it's a lot of fun for those rock hounds or the people that like volcanoes or crystals um, or things like that, um, can't go wrong. <laughs>